everybody, it's Chris from The Droning Company here today with Wayne from DJI. Wayne, tell us a little bit about what you do with DJI and what your role is there. So uh, my name's Wayne Baker, I'm the Director of Public Safety Integration at DJI, and I have the very fortunate uh, position of being able to work with police and fire departments across uh, North America, sometimes even around the world, and uh, see how they're able to utilize drones as a force multiplier to not only keep them safe, but more importantly, that helps them uh, stay safe to be able to uh, save civilian lives uh, or us utilizing the drones directly for missing persons, things like that. And then I also help with some of our uh, outside public safety customers on the energy side, uh, power line inspection side, because again, for me, a lot of this is about safety. And when we're taking and putting, when we're taking, we're putting robots in place of where we normally would put a human that would put them in danger if we're putting a human um, you know working on a power line now to inspect it we could use a drone to do that and and reducing that that danger to that human element so sure. absolutely. yeah absolutely now you were telling us a little bit off camera about your experience in the public safety field how does that help you in your position now with DJI so in public safety seeing us uh, begin to leverage this still emerging technology. Um, our ability in public safety to start to, to really push the limits of the equipment. It was uh, DJI made originally as a consumer drone that you could get good pictures and video uh, on a vacation. Well, now we were taking that and we were utilizing it actively on rescues. So, again, from that, Things like we started pushing as a public safety community, we started pushing for thermal imaging cameras and DJI started to realize themselves there was more to the potential for drones and began to develop those products. And then as that grew, other in industries began to uh, ask for equipment. So now we have the LiDAR, we have our cameras for mapping and uh, all again, all of these things bringing efficiencies to to businesses, not just public safety. Yeah, and I mean DJI is leading the industry in innovation on this technology. Uh, the release of your M30 drone recently has, I know, changed the landscape of what public safety drones are all about. How have you seen that applied in the field at this point? I'm sorry, <laughs> I'm getting distracted. Ask me that one more time. Okay, no problem. Yeah. Um, so DJI leads the industry, especially in public safety and drone application beyond just photo and video, even though you also dominate that sector. In terms of the M30, which was released just recently and really appealed to the public safety field, how are you seeing that utilized most frequently? So in public safety, one of the great things is having that multi-role, multi-mission aircraft. And, and a lot of the lessons learned of uh, aircraft through and the uses by public safety through the years um, going into the M30, and you know, I, I, I liked like when the Matrice 300 came out, I really liked it. But when the Matrice 30 came out, especially the 30T, the thermal version, I was just ecstatic because it, it gave so much capability at a lower cost for an agency that we're seeing agencies being able to more easily justify uh, the cost of the equipment. Uh, because of the value it can bring to saving lives. And again, going back to the other uh, commercial sector, uh, you know, that multi-role capability for a business to now uh, purchase an, an M30 and have it for a, a variety of uh, applications for their customers uh, has been really phenomenal. And, and one of the greatest things for me is to see the the small businesses begin to grow um, and the new entrepreneurs be able to get in. We had one earlier today that he is starting his drone company. He's going to purchase a Matrice 30 and start a business. And it's great to see someone be able to, you know, veterans transitioning out of the military, being able to start a business and be successful is, is just phenomenal to see. 
Oh, absolutely. Now, in terms of a, a lot of what we're seeing in the Part 107, the commercial pilot field, is a lot of guys will purchase your Mavic 3, for instance, and then they'll realize, you know what, for what I want to do in the future, I really need something like the Matrice 30. In terms of going from your, your prosumer, consumer level drones to these enterprise level drones, what's the ecosystem like? Is, is it very similar to what you see in the prosumer drones, or is it different, and what should they expect? Sometimes it's different in, in the prosumer because now you're getting into, you know, maybe, again, your, your, your customer's request or their mission set uh, may be more advanced than, say, if I had a prosumer, I might be doing something like working for real estate where I'm just getting, you know, nothing uh, truly detailed, but I just need to get, you know, images of a property, whereas now... As we're getting up to more like a Matrice 30 uh, or even a Matrice 300 with the P1 camera, now we're making digital twins, you know, 3D modeling, or I may be using LiDAR, getting more points uh, for the modeling, um, you know, getting that higher level of detail on construction or, or even in mining we're seeing. So just a, a lot more of the ecosystem uh, and seeing products out there from you know, drone sense to Pix4D to Skybrows to many of these other, again, that ecosystem starting to evolve. New companies come along and, and grow uh, all based on the product. Uh, as I told some uh, last night, you know, it's great for me in that without them, I, I wouldn't really have a job. I wouldn't have somebody to help grow that ecosystem. Um, we would still be at, at the consumer level drones. And now because of this ecosystem, we're able to all work together to grow the industry, so. Okay, and uh, another question for you in terms of public safety, how it relates to that. Does DJI have any pr uh, programs for departments that are maybe a little bit smaller and budget, con budget constrained that they can tap into to utilize your technology in their departments? So we've, we've looked at various ways of helping smaller agencies. What we've been trying to do is more along the lines of getting with our dealer network and, and working with dealers to get not only the, the right equipment for their mission set, um, because that's one thing sometimes agencies do is, as you mentioned, they, they want to get into it so they purchase something and spend quite a bit of money that's not going to be for their mission. So we try and help guide them uh, through our dealer network to, uh, number one, get the right equipment at a, at a good price for them and then uh, the next part of that is getting them that support through the dealer network through us to make sure that throughout the process of starting that program that we're there for them. Monetarily uh, it, it's not always that easy to, to help out but we do try and again point to them for grant opportunities. Um, you know there are opportunities to uh, work with the dealer at times to get them a better, uh, a, you know, better purchasing deal, uh, providing maybe uh, more equipment uh, to help bolster their their program. That's great. I mean, any help you can provide, I'm sure those agencies appreciate it. We've got one more question for yeah. you. If you were talking to somebody that was trying to get into the commercial drone industry, whether it's in public safety, inspection, whatever the case may be, and they don't know where to start, what would your first piece of advice to them be to get started? Coming to events like commercial UAV, um, getting involved and, and finding community groups online, uh, the, the, the resource sharing amongst other professionals out there who were starting up themselves and now are, are you know, able to share those lessons learned. Uh, and then uh, the droning company, obviously, is another great uh, avenue um, because all of this resource, you know, when, when the industry first started out, and, and we still are an emerging, emerging technology, but when it first started out, there weren't these resources. There weren't the, how do I do this, or what should I get? And now, rather than wasting money on the equipment, in, in, um, as we were talking a minute ago, now they're able to better understand, okay, I really want to get into surveying and mapping. All right, so one last question for you. If you're talking to somebody that's trying to get into the commercial to drone industry, whether it's for inspections or public safety, whatever the case may be, what would be your piece of advice to somebody that wants to get started as a commercial pilot? I would say the first thing starts with getting involved in 
uh, user groups online. Uh, Facebook's been a great resource for user groups uh, because there's a lot of entrepreneurs that just started their drone business or are asking questions. And, and there's a lot of willingness to help help share that knowledge, not in the spirit of competition, in the spirit of growing the community and the industry. Uh, so there's a lot of information there, help on learning regulations. The next is coming to events like commercial UAV and, and seeing not only all the technology, but the, the different industries that are supported by the drone industry. The droning company is another great avenue uh, to start to get the opportunities to maybe find a company uh, or bolster you know, the, the outreach of your company as you're developing. Um, and through all this, now instead of just going out and purchasing a product because you think, okay, I see this on the shelf at Best Buy and this is what I'm gonna use, and it may not be what you need if you're wanting to do, say, surveying mapping, where you might need a uh, Matrice 300 and a P1 camera that will give you uh, higher resolution. So from there, you can start to gain more knowledge on what I want to do and what equipment is going to fit my needs. Uh, and then you're not going to waste money on something that, while will be good, won't do what you need for your customers. That makes sense, absolutely. Wayne, thank you so much for your time thank today. You. Really appreciate it. Take care. The Droning Company is a job agency for drone pilots, which also incorporates a high-end magazine about the industry. So people search this when they're looking for a drone pilot. They talk to the pilot directly, but either via email or phone. We're not involved, we don't take commissions. Never will have, never will.